Hi, this is Java Night Bean tutorial of how to calculate the area of a semicircle. So if I enter maybe 4 in there, let's click on compute to see the answer 25.12 centimeter square. Okay, so you can click on reset and you can also exit. So what I'll do now is take you guys straight into Java Night Bean where we will put together one of these okay let's go into java netbin now welcome to java netbin tutorial this tutorial is all about calculating the area of a semicircle so i've just started new project select java application click on next so let's give it a name i would call that area of semicircle area underscore of underscore a semicircle so that'll be the name of my project right there so i'm going to get rid of this i don't need that let me just copy all of this so click on finish now we have area of semicircle somewhere let me go right up there yeah there we go right there so now i will right click on it go to new project select j frame now just give that a name area of a semicircles with an X. Okay, the next one. Maybe I should get rid of the A. Area of semicircle. And click on finish. So those are the names that I'll be using. Now we have the frame sets. So let me just drag it about that size. And that is my frame. The next thing I will do is go back into the project folder right there. Right click on the area of a semicircle and select folder. Once the folder is selected, give it a name. I will be calling that image. Click on finish. The next thing I will do now is to copy the very image I need and paste it right in there. And right here are the images that I need. One and two. So right click and copy now let's paste the image copied right in there those are the two images copied the next thing is let me add a title or before that right click on the form itself and go to set layer right here and select absolute layer now absolute layer is set you might not see it but it is set now let's select the palette again and we select the label right in the label change the property let's enter the following text on the label calculate or let's just say how to calculate area of a semicircle there so let's change the font Let's come here and just change the font to maybe about 72 right there so how to how to calculate area of a semicircle right there so just move it somewhere in there okay the next thing I would do now is let me get another label right there grab this label and go to the property of the label go to where it says icon click on that let's select i think it's one of these i think it's this yeah there we go so i have this icon right there and i also need another layer or label so this very label let's go to the property as well and let's close that i can select it from here and that is it that is the that is the formula of how to calculate the area of a semicircle so let, let's get rid of this text in the image or in the in, in both image so get rid of the first one get rid of the second one as well there now I need a text box let's go for a text box right there that's where I'll be entering my this text box will represent whatever is in there. Maybe I should get rid of this and use another image, actually. Okay, let's change this image so that uh, whatever is inside this text box will represent this. So 
I will upload that very image right there this is it here copy and minimize that go to the property right here the project I mean just right click on the area there paste and now make sure that it's selected go to the property and go to where it says icon change the icon as follows let's see if it's there let me import it if it's not there let's check here here there we go right there that's it now I have a new one okay the next thing now is uh, let me get a label right there and I named Jake button I think I'm gonna need about three of those yeah that'll do three of those okay we have three J buttons so this let's change the property of these two let me just change that to compute 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 yeah just compute that's fine and the next one oh let's change the name first that'll be j b t n compute there the next one we change that to reset j b t n reset right here the text content let's change that to reset and the last one we just change that to exit and that'll be jbt and exit jbt and exit there so we have all of those in place maybe increase the font size come here this font and make that bold maybe 24 yeah yeah and just maybe leave it like that and right here now this label let's change that to enter a value enter a value there this text box was the name let's see yeah enter semicircle okay now this is how my system is looking let me just compile and run click on ok I'm just running for the first time this is how the system looks so I'm gonna either move these here somewhere here and if we enter a value in there so we can always click on this to compute exit exit and reset so let's take care of exit and reset so the exit double click on that and right here just enter system exit system dot exit there okay the next thing is to take care of the reset we only have one just one component to take care of and that's the text box right here so double click on that and enter as follows the name of the text box dot set text okay let's just set that to no value there and that's it now the next thing is for us to work on the compute in the case of compute all we have to do is what to find the area of a semicircle the formula is half multiplied by 3.14 multiplied by R multiplied by R. R is the radius. So if I whatever number I enter in there, that will become R. So what I will do is double click on 
the compute and we enter the following lines of codes right here this lines of code is just to check if this if this uh, text box is empty if it's empty this message will pop up so if I compile and run let's give it a try if I click on that that's it because we haven't got anything in there alright so here we need an answer that should appear here as well so that means we need one label there we need a label right underneath here in place of label there let's change the properties of this label and we will call it lbl result and get rid of that let's add a border to it and here let's make that two as well yeah that's fine and that is it right there so here we have the radius or shall we call it here yeah, the radius whatever we enter in there and here we have the value so let's increase the font of all of these components right here let's just come to where it says font and make that bold maybe 14 okay that's fine for all of them move it up a little bit we enter a value in there and there so now let's double click on compute and right underneath here i will enter the following lines of codes and uh, local variable i have my local variable there this is the local variable i intend to use let's check how the name of this thing that's given us an error okay it should be not lb that should be j l b l okay come back in here the name is JLBL that's correct here I have my local variable that is the pi this is the half and that's supposed to be the I call it diameter sorry so maybe I should just change that let's change that to radius All right just copy and just make this radius as well radius radius so instead of result really this should be area so let's just say area I'm going to change this to area as well which is the right formula for it okay now According to the formula, area equals half multiplied by 3.14 multiplied by radius multiplied by radius and that goes into the area. This area is then assigned and converted to string value and that string value is right here. Okay, and that is it. This should actually be to power 2. Or we can just make that to power two. Let's take care of that first. We'll take care of that later on. So if we run compile and run the program now, let's compile and run it. Enter a value in there. Let's say we go for let's go for maybe four. And when we click on this there, so that gives us for the uh, twenty-five point twelve. So that should be in centimeter. Okay. So let's get these answers right okay if you calculate it anyway you will notice that the answer is correct okay the other thing is for this answer to be able to display the unit so let's just make that up here somewhere so let me say plus it's meant to be centimeter Just one more speech mark there. So if I run it now, compile and run. And right here, enter whatever in there. Let's say I want to go for eight. So if I compute, that's the answer. I think we need more room here. So let's change 
just go back in here and just maybe enlarge for that and try it one more time now run let's say we enter 16 so if we compute and there uh, the 400 and 1.92 centimeter to the power of 2 so let's go back in here enter space in here we can also even get the output here you see right here remember there's a text there before so if I run it again go by run and enter whatever value in there now let's say I enter 4 in here we can just alright so what's happening is I should have been able to get this to the power 2 but I just can't remember how to get that done if any of you remember it you can always send me the code how I appreciate that so with that I'll just call it the end of this uh, area of semi-circle calculation so I'll say bye for now.